Another couple of random things, I guess, because, uh, I don't know. Well, that wasn't random because that's hair and, and beauty, but these are kind of random, and these are candles that I completely burned through. I love burning candles now that I have my own apartment. I'm burning one right now, and I love how that one smells too, but I completely burned through this Ski Lodge one, and it just smells like a, like a man, not as musky as um, Mahogany Teakwood, I think that's the one that I'm thinking of. If you know what that one smells like, that one's like really musky, like very, very manly, and it's a little overpowering, I think, but I still really like that one, but this one is like the perfect, like, step down from that, I want to say, and my boyfriend absolutely loves this, so I feel like that says, like, something, when do men really say anything about a candle, so he really liked that one a lot, so I'm going to repurchase that one, and then this one is almost done, it's hard, it gets hard to burn when they get this low, that's why... I'm probably not really going to get much more use out of this. This is pumpkin pecan waffle. And this just smells so good. Like, it smells like you're in a bakery. My sister really likes this one, too. She always says it smells really good. But I think that one might have been just for, like, fall, like, seasonal. If it's not, though, I would pick it up. It's very sweet. If you don't like sweet, obviously, you wouldn't like that. But I still think it's not too much. Like, it's it's sweet, but it's not, like, headache sweet. So, love that one. Okay, so let's get into some beauty, right? I feel like that's why people watch favorites, so they can see what kind of makeup and stuff that we've been loving for the month. So, um, I have been absolutely obsessed. Probably my favorite thing out of the entire haul, ColourPop Cosmetics. Like, why didn't I jump on this bandwagon earlier? These are amazing eyeshadows. $5... <laughs> Let's just drop that right in my boob. They're $5 a piece, which I really, I think they're worth much more. The colors are amazing. If I drop this one more time. The colors are amazing. Um, I have here Lovely, which is like this beautiful champagne gold color. I swatched these all in, um, or not swatched them all, but I, I did a look with these, which I'll have listed down below. So you saw me like swatch them and do them on my eyes and all that good stuff. So I just love them. They're gorgeous. They just give the most beautiful like oh I love them they're really really pigmented they're completely worth the price you get 2.1 grams in here I think that's average I don't know the packaging is super cute I wish I could depot them and put them in palettes that's my only complaint if I had to be picky because like to travel with a bunch of them is, would be a pain in the ass but I love them they're so pretty love them oh my favorite right now I ordered I just I already made another order I ordered like six more, seven more eyeshadows and a couple more of the lippy sticks, which I really do love too. I have a lippy stick and a lip liner here. But before I say that, my favorite eyeshadows that I have right now are Lovely and Mittens. Mittens is like this really warm, beautiful burgundy brown. It's just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. This is the lip pencil in Lumiere and this is the lippy stick in Brink. They're very similar in color. I will close up so you guys can see them, but they're just something is a little bit different with them. I think the lippy stick is a little bit more of a brown hue, and the lip liner is a little bit more of like a mauve kind of hue. And they're both gorgeous. Love them both. I just, I love ColourPop. Obsessed with them right now. Then from Lime Crime, they came out with a new velveteen, which I'm sure you guys have seen all over the internet, all over Instagram, all over the place, because it's kind of a unique color, and I think that's why it's my favorite. Um, it's this color cashmere, and it's like a gray beige. It's just, it's just different, and whenever there's something that I haven't seen, I need to have it. So as soon as I heard this was coming out, I was like, I purchased it right away. Um, they did restock, and then they went out of stock again. It's just, it's ridiculous with stuff like that. I feel bad mentioning stuff, and that happens, so I'm sorry. But um, I always try to update you guys on my Instagram and my Twitter when they do come back out, so you guys can be the first ones to know, so... Yeah, follow me on social media if you want to know. <laughs> anyway, I love this. It's gorgeous. It's a little bit drying. I shouldn't say a little bit. It's a lot drying. You need chapstick with this. Very, very, very drying product. But it's beautiful nonetheless. And the lipstick that I have been loving this month is Retro. This is what I have on my lips right now, lined with World Lip Liner. Um, I want to describe this as kind of like a brownie, mauve-y... 90s lip. <laughs> I guess that's the only way I can think of it. It is a satin finish, so it does have a little bit of sheen. It's not completely matte. If you did want to mat mattify any kind of lip product that was like a little bit shiny or has a sheen to it, you can always just put some like uh, white powder or I don't want to say white powder, but mattifying powder on your lips and it will matten it up and 
mattify it up. So for highlighters, I've mentioned um, one of these before and the other one I actually said I didn't really like when I first got it. And I might have said this already in another favorites video that this one I, I've grown to love, but I'm not sure so I'm going to mention it again because it's probably the only highlighter that I've been wearing throughout this couple of months without doing favorites videos. So that one is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb and you guys have heard about this. I'm sure it's um, one of those staple highlighters that are spoken about on YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. It's a beautiful gold champagne highlight. It's just so pretty. It's, it's honestly gorgeous. I have it on today. What I like to do is to actually mix the uh, Mary Luminizer with the Hard Candy one that I've mentioned in my um, favorites video in the past. And it's this one. This one is more of like a glow, a sheen, which I love because I don't really like glitter on my cheeks. Like, it's just not, I don't think that's cute, honestly. It's not my thing, but to each his own, I like a nice glow and then like a nice maybe sheen of highlight on top. So mixing these two together gives like the most perfect combination of a highlight to me. I have this one on first and then I just put this one on on top just to make it a little bit more glowy, but... I absolutely love both of them and at first I didn't like this one and I don't know why. I think it's because I had to break it in a little bit and it wasn't giving me that highlight that I was looking for. But now I love it and I use it for an inner corner highlight, and brow bone highlight, whatever highlight. And it's going to last me a long time. I, I can't see myself going through either of those anytime soon. Alright guys, so we're almost done. I just have some skincare products that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, my ha last haul I showed you guys a couple of skincare products and... I think all the skincare products that I showed you in that haul are my favorites. Um, I haven't had them that long. I think, I think I did actually get them in the beginning of the month, so it is considered a monthly favorite. The first one that I want to talk about is the Dermacologica Clear Start Overnight Treatment. This thing is amazing. I think this is my favorite out of the three skincare products that I'm going to talk to you guys about right now. It's just so nice to put on after you get out of your shower you wash your face it's like very soothing it has cucumber in it I know it does just because I can smell it right off the bat um, it also has salicylic acid and da, 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 I think that's it no like um, benzoyl peroxide is what I was thinking it might have but it doesn't from what I see right now so I just get out of the shower after I wash my face I put on my moisturizer and then I put this baby um, all over my face like a thin layer it's a gel consistency it's like a clear or white kind of gel consistency. I don't know if you guys are going to even be able to see that, but it does have this very cucumber smell. I don't like cucumber, so it kind of bothered me, but it goes away really fast, and honestly, it could smell like crap, and I was still putting it on my face because it's that good. I wake up in the morning, and my skin just feels so smooth and soft. Like, it almost, like, um, took off, like, a dead layer of my skin while I was sleeping, and then any like blemishes or anything like that that I've been having have gone down significantly if they haven't gone away they definitely went down so I think the cucumber helps with the redness and it just soothes your skin and makes it feel really nice so I love this so much I will be repurchasing this I already know it's the bomb and then for spot treatment I've been using the Mario Badescu Skin Care drying lotion and this is the one that comes in the plastic bottle I think the plastic and the clear or the plastic and the glass bottle is the same thing but they just um, come in different ways which I would recommend to get the plastic because if you drop the glass it's gonna suck so you just put this on your blemish after a you know after you wash your face and all that stuff <laughs> Is she okay? Yeah, she's Oh, goodness. <laughs> so you just put this on your face or your blemish after you wash your face. What you're going to do is you're going to dip a Q-tip into the pink solution right on the bottom. It's separated with like this clear solution and then pink. And you're going to take out the Q-tip and just put it on the blemish. And it's been helping a lot dry up my blemishes. Um, the time of the month is coming, so my face isn't looking too hot. It was doing really good with these products, but I have a couple blemishes now. It's going to happen. It's whatever. But this still has been helping a lot with drying out those pimples. So I'm really liking that. And then to wash my face, I've been using the new Glam Glow Super Cleanse Treatment. And I've heard so many mixed reviews on this. I've heard people say that they love it, and then I've heard people say that it's done nothing, and I've heard people say that they hate it, and they've returned it, so I really don't even know, like, where to start with this. I mean, for me, it works. I think it does at least. I put it on when my skin is dry, like a mask goes on, 
And then uh, it's just like a black mask. It's basically like the actual super glow mask thingy, whatever it's called. But it's like black or gray, dark, dark gray. And you just put it onto dry skin. And then while I'm in the shower, I almost feel like I get like a spa experience because it's like the heat of the shower or the hot water and then the mask just like opening up and just cleaning my skin. I don't know. That's how I feel. I feel like it does a really good job with that. I don't think it over dries my skin or anything like that. Um, and then it just turns into like a cleanse. Like a, it says mo mud to foam, but I don't think it's foamy at all. It's, it's literally mud and then it turns into like a regular cleanse. So, um, yeah, ever since I've been using these three products, my skin has been way better than what it was when I wasn't, when I was going through that, like, rough patch, which I still kind of am, but it's definitely way better with these three product products. And also, I stopped using my Clarisonic. I felt like it was making my skin worse for some reason. Like, I don't know. It just wasn't doing it for me anymore. And I changed the head when I was having the issues with my skin, so I know it wasn't my brush head. I think I might try getting a sensitive brush head because I don't want to just not use my Clarisonic. It was expensive, it did wonders for my skin in the beginning, but I really don't think it's doing anything for me right now. Um, I actually tried to start using it again and I saw my skin getting the little white bumps that I'm trying to avoid. So I really think it might be something to do with that and just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't want to even say it because I love that thing. I swore by the Clarisonic. So I'm gonna try getting maybe the sensitive brush cleanser head and see what happens, but anyway. On a positive note, these things have been working for me so much and I'm so grateful that I did some research and decided to pick these items up. If for some reason this stops working for me, um, I will let you guys know and I will probably just go back on Proactive because I was using it um, back in the day when my skin wasn't doing so great and it worked amazing. I just hated like the commitment of them taking out money out of my credit card every month and then th them sending it to me when I wasn't ready for the it to be sent to me like I still had products so I don't know I like going to CVS and just picking it up or Sephora and just picking something up like if they had it in Sephora I could do that but they don't so We'll see what happens. I still have quite a few product, or quite amount, quite a lot of product left in this bottle. This has how many fluid ounces or how many something? It's a big bottle, you know. This is like a big amount. I think it was like forty dollars though, so you know you're kind of getting what you pay for. Okay, guys, so that wraps up my monthly favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and it wasn't too long or too not long enough I feel like I can never tell I think I've been sitting here maybe 20 minutes filming but who knows what it's gonna be like once I sit down to edit it so you just never know <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it so much and until next time I will see you guys later Bye. kiss me out of the bearded barley nightly beside the green green grass swing 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 the spinning step, I'll wear the shoes.